I left. Are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not Smelly. Smelly, as in the Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche up a Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. It's the assembly instructions for one evil dog bot made by Smelly Toy Division. You're still here? They say that the longest journey begins with but a single step, Spy Fox. Proverbs, eh? I've got one. Early to bed and early to rise will keep a man healthy unless he eats too many French fries. You need to get out there and start your mission, Spy Fox. Say, Fox, do you ever wonder if we're alone in the universe? What do you mean? Monkey Penny's right over there. Moby? Please stand by. Uh, Spy Fox, I'm right behind you. Stop playing with your spy watch and go save the world. Just checking the batteries, Monkey Penny. Batteries are A-OK. -okay. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let cashiers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of cashier and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately... It seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. Are you happy with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. But I do prefer the delicate grace involved with volcano diving. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Tourist, cashier, dentist, France. That's not really my best side. This is a rather cool-looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the Process ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then only when we're on a case. Right! Thank <laughs> you. 
With a photo in place, I can now make a new ID card. Ballard. Band. Waitress. Professional bowler. Astronaut. Dishwasher. Jockey. Helicopter pilot. Cashier. Muriel. Carlton. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. I expect that this will come in quite handy. The entrance is closed and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. Here you are, sir. One cashier ID card. Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Carlton. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... <laughs> What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in. <laughs> That's a strange looking device. I wonder why LaRoche has it. A secret agent must always be keenly aware of his surroundings. That device is a case in point. I'll make a mental note of it. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So Spycore has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ha! Ah, since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I've created a 1000 to 1 scale fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe. The means to my world domination! People buying tickets for the World Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! <laughs> Once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! It cannot be called off because it has no off switch! Yes! I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair! So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it! That's what you think, LaRoche! Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off! And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, adieu! Uh.
Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. <laughs> if I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roach with this talk balloon. La Roach's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. This gear must go somewhere in here. I wonder where this gear goes. That did the trick. Well, I guess it's like they say, the tooth shall set you free. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. <laughs> 